All right, uh, the board fits for pretty good. I made these little uh, brackets here to hold it in. Um, this might be a little bit high. I might have to put some spacers underneath the brackets to move it down a bit, but that'll be easy. Um, so uh, I wanted to film this because uh, a lot of people just load everything and pop it in. And that's okay, but I think it's safer if you just go step at a time. In case you have something wrong, you don't want to blow up the whole board. You just blow up part of the board. And so uh, all I have in here is the shift registers and the 5-volt regulator. I sort of wanted to find the, try the 5-volt regulator, make sure I picked up the right pin. It fed 13 volts to the regulator, and I'm getting 5 volts out. All right. So I'm going to... Uh, power on the radio here. Let me see. Let me find some clip leads. All right. So power supply is right. All right. Let's connect this one. We'll connect this one. Oops. And uh, if you look at the front, we have LEDs lit up. So that's good. Uh, I can see the LEDs here on the uh, shaft encoder or the rotary encoder, so that's good too. So let's uh, let's make some measurements here. Uh, let's see, we have 12 volts going into the regulator. I have 12.8 volts going into the diode, and then out of the diode, I have 12 volts. I'm dropping 0.8 volts on the diode. And coming into the radio, I've got 13.5. So something gets dropped along the way. I don't know where. But anyway, what we care about is that we, yeah, we're getting 5.00 volts out of the, uh, out of the regulator. And I'm putting my finger on it, and it's dead cold. Maybe just a little bit warm, but yeah. That's good news. All right. So um, we can check to make sure that we're getting 5 volts on pin 14 of these, 14 or 16 of these uh, shift registers, and we are 5 volts there, 5 volts there, that looks good. And we should be getting 5 volts here. That's on the uh, on the op amp. Now this op amp is going to be driven from 0 to 5 volts, so I'm going to have to make sure I use a single-ended uh, single op amp for that. Let's see, we have, oh, I don't have the, uh, I could check the four volts out, but I don't have the um, uh, potentiometer in there yet. And we can check if we have five volts there, and five volts there, five volts there, all right. Everything's looking good. All right. So the next step would be uh, to start loading up some other parts. Um, I'll put in the uh, put in the nano and the display. Put it, I'll put, just put in the nano and the display next. And I'm going to write some software. Once I hit that point, I'll write some software to talk to the front panel, and uh, we can start getting that working. And then maybe we can start wiring up some of the front panel switches. We can read read switches and do things with that, and maybe, maybe the rotary encoder. So maybe we'll do all digital stuff first and uh, try that out. And then we can uh, put in the, uh, maybe a later, a later time, I'll put in the, um, the, the DAC and we'll see if we can output some, uh, output some voltages. But uh, first thing is the front panel. Okay, I have a couple things hooked up. Uh, I have my Arduino and I put the display on here. And then uh, I put just these two items on and tested it. So I'll show you that. Uh, so I'll connect the uh, connect the power, and you can see that the uh, the little display is working. I've got the Adafruit uh, demo program running, uh, so that's working great. And then I decided to load the uh, 50 uh, 5K resistor. I I had it in series with a with a 10K resistor, and my brain was upside down. It has to be a 2K resistor. So I put in a 2K resistor. And I'm able to, if it focuses, able to dial that in. I'll show you that. Let me uh, grab a screwdriver here. And I have a really, really fine adjustment range now. So let's see if I can dial it to four exactly. I'm moving it quite a bit. So that's great. Oops, I went a little too far. 
So you can see that I can, uh, oops, no, when I let go, it, uh, it pop back. Interesting. Yeah, there we go. See, I can dial it in really, really close now. Um, so anyway, so that'll work good. Uh, so the other thing I loaded was the, uh, uh, the DAC. And so it's time to write some programs. Uh, I'm going to write a program to display a number here. I'll display it here and I'll display it on the front panel uh, using the LEDs and we'll see if they match. Uh, maybe I'll have it count. That would make sense. Um, I'll have it count. And then uh, after we do that, uh, I can output voltages on the DAC and I can display the voltage that I, maybe the bit count that I'm, I'm outputting. And then we can measure the voltage that's coming out of the, uh, out of the DAC. And then we can talk about the, uh, the offset and uh, offset and gain that we need in order to in order to make everything right. We'll see how the DAC is working first. We'll see what what range we get out of that, and, uh, and go from there. But uh, yeah, it's shaping up. It's looking uh, it's looking pretty good. Oh, and I'll uh, probably uh, hook up the switches to do something too. Maybe increment, decrement, you know, something like that. Um, yeah, looks great. All right. Uh, so I had the board in the. Uh, in the transceiver, let's apply some power. Oops. All right, and let, I don't think you can see that. Let me zoom in. All right, I think you can see my little splash screen there uh, icon. And so that's working well. And I have uh, written a little program to. Uh, send some data through these uh, through these shift registers down here might be out of focus but uh, let me flip the radio over all right so um, eight bits go to the first two characters and eight bits go to the uh, uh oh eight bits go to the second character let's see here what's going on I think I'm losing my ground yeah I need to have uh, I need to have a screw put in <laughs> um, so I'm holding the ground with my with my hand. Anyway, uh, you can see that the uh, the first two characters, like I said, are one byte, and so I'm just I'm counting uh, zero through nine and zero through nine, and so that's working good. Um, and then I'm just duplicating that on the bits to the uh, to the left. So this is one shift register, and this is the other shift register, and we can take a look at the. Uh, uh, extra digit which doesn't have everything going to it and you can see here that when I have a, a certain certain numbers applied I get a different numbers over here um, so four six seven yeah it's it's kind of funny so I need to figure out how that how that works over there um, it is an it is an odd it is an odd interface but anyway, I can display the uh, numbers correctly, and I'll, I'll figure that one out. Okay, I've got one other strange thing. Uh, this seems to be working okay, except for this weird digit over here. Um, and uh, this switch doesn't do anything. But this switch here, uh, if you can see it flicker there, if I put it in the middle, it turns the display off. And it has an off button here, too. Um, and if we take a look at the... Um, a look at the microprocessor uh, when I send it to the off position uh, our light goes dim too so it's cutting the power off for the face lock loop board too so that's not good I'm gonna have to rewire that one uh, I don't know what's going on there like I said my schematics don't match so uh, more troubles ahead <laughs>